All right, today we're gonna look at how we can use automation envelopes inside Ableton Live to control whatever parameters you can dream of. Um, the example I'm gonna be using today is automating the pad filter um, of a, a very generic ambient pad, um, but this can be done with anything and this is gonna give you a good solid idea um, of how to make that happen. So I'm going to start our demonstration by recording a short um, pad loop. So um, that is sort of your generic uh, backing pad that you might see in a variety of situations. Um, but we are going to add uh, a little bit of fun um, to what we've recorded here um, by automating our filter. Um, so you'll notice that over here on the left-hand side uh, in clip view, we've got our clip activation, our launch, our notes, and our envelopes. Um, so by default, notes is likely going to be selected. And if you're missing any of these guys, you can click on them and they will open up. Um, but we're going to focus on envelopes for now. Um, so you'll notice that when you click on the envelope section here, our notes turn into these sort of black um, dots and we can't click on them. That's because we don't need to work with our notes right now. We are working with these lines. And these lines will become our envelopes. Um, so over here from the drop-down menu, you'll notice that we have a ton of possibilities for what we can automate. So anything on this channel um, is likely going to be uh, automatable, but um, it, it's a lot of work on your eyes to go through here and find um, what it is that you're trying to automate. Um, Ableton sort of has a, a quick and easy solution to that, which is anything that you click on will automatically be displayed here. So if you hit Shift Tab, I've already set up some macros, but even if you hadn't, um, it would be the same process. You would just click and go back. So we're going to click Pad Filter, and when I hit Shift Tab, you'll notice Pad Filter is already pulled up. So that's going to tell us then that this dotted line is where we had the filter to begin with at 222 hertz. So I'm going to click on that. Now anytime I fire this clip, um, it is going to go back to 222 hertz. But what I would like to happen is I would like to have this filter gradually open over four bars. So you can click and drag up, and now you'll see that this line um, goes from 222 hertz to all the way open. Um, let's have a listen to what that sounds like. All right. I got a little loud there, and you'll notice that as I clicked that, it actually changed the, um, changed the envelope we were looking at. Um, all right, one more time. All right, so that is a basic envelope. Um, now, there are occasional times where you may want um, your envelope to be a bit curved. Um, this can be achieved by hitting Option, and now you'll see as I drag, um, this envelope becomes uh, curved. Um, so let's have a listen to what that sounds like. So that's a pretty cool uh, little thing to do. All right, um, let's let's have another example here. I'm going to delete this envelope altogether um, because uh, I want to show you something else we can do. If you want um, these to change uh, immediately, you can select a section um, and mouse over and drag up. Um, you can do the same here. I have no idea what this is going to sound like, but it's a fun little experiment. Um, 
Um, and so what this is doing is this is making immediate jumps. Um, so the filter is going to just be going up and down and all over the place. Um, all right, let's have a listen. <laughs> pretty cool some sort of a, a rhythmic effect you could get going on here I could see that being interesting let's try this all right so you kind of get the idea with that um so that's an, an envelope um sort of at its at its simplest form here. Um, now, if you wanted this to be um, twice as long, you could uh, double this loop by clicking the double the loop. Um, and so now you, we've got two times the amount. And now when I go into envelopes, um, it may not be quite as jarring. Just a little bit slower. All right, um, now let's say that halfway through we want um, another effect. Let's say we want, um, let's say we want this LFO effect here. Um, so we're gonna automate the depth of this effect. Um, so I've clicked on depth here. So now when I shift tab back, LFO depth is already selected. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so to start, we're going to want this down at zero. Um, and around, let's say, the middle of bar four, um, we're going to have that start coming in. And we'll do this gradually. Uh, just a little curved. Remember, holding down option will curve it. Um, all right, let's have a listen and see what we got. So remember, we have our filter automating on a different page. Nice. All right, I can get behind that. I'm actually going to increase this a tiny bit towards the end here. Right now, if I let this clip go all the way to the end, when it gets back to the beginning, um, it's actually... Um, gonna go back to the same um, envelope settings which maybe you want but if you don't want that there's this button here that says linked um, if it's linked uh, they're gonna play over and over but if you unlink it um, it's gonna give you the option to set um, independently the loop start the loop end um, and so on and so forth so right now um, we are going to do unlinked. Um, and let's have a listen to what that sounds like. All right, so you'll notice the second time we came around there, the LFO uh, was still going, um, but our other clip here, which was still linked, actually did go back down. Um, so we can unlink here. You can also have um, these be shorter. So um, if you're unlinked but still looped, like perhaps we want a little bit of variation. So now this is going to loop the entire clip for the notes. Um, but for the envelope, it's just going to do this very end. And let's see if we can come up with something interesting and creative for this guy over here. Let's put the loop back on. And maybe we want to do... This will be interesting. 
how you want the start to be here. Yep. Went too far, friends. All right, let's have a listen. So when it gets to the end, it's just going to loop this section here. All right, so you'll see now. Let's check it out. This is looping. A different section. All right, so that is automation um, using envelopes in session view. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from main stage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track Patch List Guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a main stage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.